Hey guys, what's going on? So for today's video, I just wanted to talk about how I ended up building my automotive YouTube channel to monetization, which is a thousand plus subscribers. All right, so as you can see, we're in the old Ford here, and we used to do a lot more videos like this. I'd just drive around and we'd talk about stuff, and that's one of the things that happens. When you get into doing this, you're gonna find your style, I guess. You're gonna find out how you like to do videos, what gets you the most pumped up, what kind of stuff you really like creating, what you like to see grow, and that's, you know, that just kind of got us away from doing these kind of videos. But once in a while, I do still like doing them. We're just on a little Sunday drive right now, and this is something I've been wanting to talk about since we hit monetization. So, throughout this entire video, I'm gonna put a couple clips of previous videos, a couple of them, the cringeworthy factor is gonna be like way up here because they're going to be early videos but I just thought that this was an important discussion to have. So I'm going to tell you right now that a lot of it has to do with your perspective and your own way of thinking. So right now we're heading into the second week of January of 2021. I decided to give this thing a serious effort exactly three years ago. Now I'm going to put a clip in right here of one of the very first videos I ever did so please God don't judge me too much. So if you watch that clip, you can tell like it just, I didn't look comfortable in front of the camera. I was using my laptop on the seat over there and I had it kind of tilted towards my face. And there's a reason I don't delete those videos. I don't delete them because not every single video that you're ever gonna put out, even once you're comfortable, is gonna be something that you're super happy with. So anytime I'm feeling discouraged, I just go watch one of those old videos and then I watch some of the new stuff and realize like, holy shit, I've come a long ways with this. I've gotten a lot better. And it's just, again, it's all about your mindset and the way you think. It's all about your perspective. One of my favorite quotes in the world is, if you think you can and you think you can't, you're right either way. So one thing that I've realized in doing this YouTube thing, and I'm forever grateful for it because it also affects and helps me in other aspects of life, is that everything that we do, it all has this one little thing in common. And that is that the result of our actions is literally everything. And I don't care if that's your finances, if that's your relationships, if that's your career, if it's a project you have, all your little actions compounded over time give you an end result. Now, of course, there's outliers. There's things beyond your control. But the majority, the vast majority of things in your life, you control through tiny little actions. Think about a diet. If you're trying to lose weight or whatever, if you exercise, if you exercise for one day for 20 minutes, is that gonna make you healthier? No. What if you exercise for 100 days for 20 minutes every single day? You bet, it's just a small action that's accumulating. So that's the first thing I'm gonna tell you is why I've been able to find this little bit of success on my YouTube channel is for the last three years, I've been posting at least one video a week every single week, sometimes more. For a while I was able to do three a week. There's only been two weeks in that whole three year period where I missed that mark. And even then, I still uploaded something, you know, maybe a few days late. So being consistent is the first thing that you have to do. And it isn't gonna show up right away. So I went for years, literally years, without seeing like, a marginal amount of success on my channel. I'll tell you another thing. So I wanted to start making a little bit of money. I wasn't monetized yet. I had like 300 subscribers and I was like, how do I do this? There's other ways obviously than Google AdSense. So I applied for an Amazon affiliate account. I did that, I was making money and it doesn't cost them anything to have me on there. And like a month into it, they I went to log in to check to see what I was at and they cut me from the program. They said, your YouTube channel's too small so you can reapply when you're bigger. See you later. And I was like, what in the hell? And you know, that was discouraging. But you gotta keep your, you gotta have a positive mindset. If this is something you wanna do, it takes a lot of work. Do I wake up every single morning and want to film a video? 
absolutely not. Prime example, yesterday I was fixing a CRV, had it in the shop with the new lift. If you haven't seen the shop in a while or ever, if this is your first time to the channel, I'll put a card up here. Me and my buddy Lucian made a fun video last week kind of showing you that. I'll drop a little snippet of that right here. But anyway, so I was in the shop, I was working on a CRV, and I had to put a thermostat in it, and I was like, you know what, this would be a really good car to make a video on. I can show kind of how to do this, believe the cooling system, whatever, you know, and I just, I just didn't want to do it. And so I didn't, I just didn't, I wasn't feeling it, I was kind of in a slump. Another huge thing that's gonna help you guys out if this is something you wanna do, make sure you're taking time for yourself. Right now, I'm filming this on the second half of just a leisurely Sunday drive. I just took some time out to chill and to collect my thoughts and just, you know, enjoy life, just relax a little bit. Make sure you're taking time for that, but also be involved in other channels, all right? I watch a lot of automotive YouTubers. If I have to think of some that you guys might know off the top of my head, let's go That Dude in Blue, let's go Gears and Gasoline, Derek Graham Productions, Connor Nation, um, D-Boss Garage. I watch a lot of automotive YouTubers and I watch a lot of them that I don't necessarily like either. I watch the ones I don't like to kind of be like, damn, that's how I'm not going to do it or that's how I'm not going to be. I won't mention names, you guys, but be authentic. This is That's a huge part of this. I feel like my connection between me and you is a lot better when you're authentic. So I watch one person in particular and I'm not going to name names and I absolutely hate the channel. I really do. I just watch it to remind me to stay grounded because it's it's full of misinformation. The guy's full of himself. I just, I can't stand it, you guys. So just be honest, you know? Sometimes the projects on my channel don't move very fast and I've heard people say that. Well, I'm straight up with you guys. I got two other jobs. I don't have copious amounts of money. I don't have sponsorships. So that's just the way it's gonna be. When I have significant things to show you that we are working on on the channel, then we'll get there. Otherwise, I like to do things like this and have discussions and just do fun vlogs and show you auto repairs, give you a glimpse of how my day's going up work that kind of stuff right it's not going to be this has never been a channel where i have tj hunt money where i can just like buy super cool cars and get stuff done all the time so be authentic that's going to be another thing that i'm going to tell you get involved with those other channels watch them comment build some online relationships and be authentic the last thing i kind of want to say about finding some success on this platform and like i said you guys right now we're at like 1100 and some subscribers so it's not like anything is huge but we're building success and when i hit that tier it fueled my fire it got me kind of pumped up again so to speak because i saw some of my success materialize you have to believe in yourself you have to tell yourself every day that you know you can you have to go to bed at night you, you got to feel some type of way so you might as well feel hopeful and optimistic and determined right i'd rather go to bed and wake up with a positive attitude and it's not always possible but i'd rather do that than I mean, like I said, you gotta feel something. The last thing I'm gonna say is don't be afraid to try things, okay? I've got to work with a couple really cool tool companies. I worked with GripMath, they sent me a bunch of tools for free. I worked with MagPad, they sent me a bunch of tools for free. And you know how that was? It's not because they saw me and decided, oh, I wanna reach out to this guy and send him some free stuff, no. I contacted them, explained my situation, said, hey, look, if you guys wanna work with me, if you're willing to send me something so that I can try it out, make a video, have at it. And guess what they did? So I got free stuff and I built some relationships Relationships. It's all about building that web, build a network, right? So believe in yourselves, you guys, and don't ever give up. Consistency is a key, even if you don't see the fruits of your efforts right away. To close this video out, I did want to mention, you guys, first of all, if you like the video, drop a big like down below and check out some of the other videos on our channel of some of the Fox Body stuff, the shop, the Celica GTS. We got lots of cool stuff on the channel. Go check that out. Subscribe if you have not already. I'm working on those sweatshirts, you guys. If you didn't see those, they're in a few of the previous videos. We're working on emergency 
merch line. I just got to get some price point stuff figured out. But you guys, thanks for tuning into this video. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.